So a typical question in an Algebra 2 class would be something like this. You'll have some crazy equation like 3x squared plus 2x minus 2y squared minus x plus 16, whatever, equals 0. And they'll say, what is this? What type of graph does this equation represent? And the options are usually going to be four things. So it's either an ellipse, a hyperbola, a circle, or a parabola, right? And there's all these different like crazy formulas for figuring this out. It's really, I have a secret trick. This is actually like a trick and it's super easy. Right away I can tell immediately that this is a hyperbola. And the reason is, is all you care about are the two variables with the largest degrees. So for instance, in this case, I care about the x squared and I care about the y squared. And this is like pretty cool. I've never heard this explained this way, but I think it's the best way to look at it. Whatever's happening between these is happening to the halves. So if you have this guy is subtracting this guy, which is true in this case, then the two halves are being subtracted, right? But if this was a plus, like if you had another problem like this, 3x squared, blah, 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 plus 2y squared, blah, 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 and then you see here they're both positive, they're being added. You take those halves and you actually add them and it would be like this. So between these options, immediately you can tell that if the x squared and the y squared are subtracted, it's a hyperbola. The two halves are being subtracted. If they're added, you're still down to either a circle or an ellipse, right? So in this case, let's look here. They're definitely added, so the halves come together. I still don't know if it's a circle or an ellipse. Then the question is, are the coefficients the same for the x squared and the y squared? If the coefficients are different, it is an ellipse, it's an oval. If the coefficients are the same, like let's say you had 5x squared blah 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 plus 5y squared blah 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 equals whatever, these are both positive, they're being added, and because the coefficients are the same, then that is a circle. And it's totally that easy. So look for the x squared and the y squared and find out, are they added or are they subtracted? And then a parabola is even easier because a parabola, they're not both squared. It's either 3x squared and some stuff and then a plus y and then one guy is squared and not the other parabola. Or of course it could be 2x blah 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 plus 3y squared and if the y squared is squared and not the x, again it's parabola. So I don't do any math, like just this is the best trick in the world. Just look at it and you'll know immediately based on if the halves are added or if the halves are subtracted. And then in the case of a parabola, it's a slam dunk. Only one guy is squared. And that's it. And remember, if you're struggling with Algebra 2 uh, at your local high school, you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School, and the credits will be transferred back to you.